Hi fellow flight simmers, this is Mad Mike and I'm going to work with uh, pitch attitude that's nose up, nose down relative to the horizon angle of attack, the wing cords angle it makes with the relative wind and power. Let's go ahead and take off uh, the uh, F-14 and my intention here is to keep the thing low and slow. We don't uh, probably practice enough low and slow but it surely helps to understand the low speed uh, characteristics of a plane if you want to make decent landing approaches. So I'm off. I brought the throttle back right away. Cut the gear up. I'm going to keep it nice and slow. 200 knots now. I need to slow it down to about 140. Um, but I'm not going to pay attention to airspeed too much. I want to look at the uh, angle of attack indicator. Uh, I'm going to settle down into this little valley. Basically you can control your descents, of course, with uh, changes in power, but I want to maintain angle of attack, and I'm not doing a good job of it here. Watch what's going to happen. I'm going to come into the power much too late. I'm settling. And my first response is to raise the nose, increase the pitch attitude, but it's actually going to also increase the angle of attack to a point where I'm almost going to stall. And that gets kind of tough sometimes. Ooh. The people on the ground don't like it much either. And it can also cause you to maybe even soil your pants, which I just did here. As you can see, this big turd on the uh, seat cushion. Sorry about that, game. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out the stall situation on this. It's important to know what the angle of attack is uh, on this type of situation. There's 10, 12 degrees. There's about 13, 14. Looks like about 15 degrees does it. Now I got a pretty good amount of altitude so I'm not going to make a wild and crazy change. I'm just going to add a little bit of power, ease the nose down, reduce the angle of attack, and bring it back to about 10 degrees and resume the flight. <clears throat> now let's try some contour flying. <clears throat> this is where it gets tough because you've got to, if you want to maintain the angle of attack, you're going to have to make necessary power changes to make that work. Well, we did that pretty well, pretty well, not too bad. Now, certain animals actually are disturbed by low flight. I thought it, this is just an aside, but sheep aren't too bad. They don't seem to be bothered too much by it, but uh, if you take a look at cattle as you come by, they get a little bit shook. They get a little bit shook. You, you probably recognize that. That's the... Uh, how to spot a mad cow audio. Uh, let's go ahead and do some more contour flying. Look at that, I'm following pretty well right now. 10 degrees, 10 degrees, enough power to follow the contour, and uh, I have to continue to actively maintain that 10 degree angle of attack. I think we practiced pretty well. Let's take off out of this uh, area, and we're going to head over to uh, Bowling Field. Get the old gear up, the flaps up. Take a nice flight up vertically and work our way over to Boeing Field and try to use angle of attack as uh, a method to make our landing approach. Here we are. Okay, I've got that set at 10 degrees. I'm holding it at that. Uh, and I'm at level flight right now. So things are pretty stable. I'm only about 1,400 feet. Here I'm coming in on final. And I'm looks like I'm going to be a little bit above the Vazi slope uh, indicator. So I'm going to come back on the power just slightly, but maintain the 10 degree angle of attack. I'll have to make slight pitch attitude control changes to do that. I'm a little high. I'm a little high, and I'm going to cut back on the power. Bring it back down to about a thousand foot a minute. Maintain that uh, 10 degree angle of attack. I know I'm a little high, and I'm going to eventually slip below that uh, Vazi glide slope. So I'm going to be prepared to add a little bit of power and also maintain the 10 degree angle of attack. Now, when I get down over the runway, I'm not going to initiate a flare. I'm going to just hold that angle of attack at 10 degrees. I'm going to add a little bit of power, subtle, reduce that to about four to 500 feet a minute, hold the angle attack, there you go. 
Uh, tell you what, it sure is a good thing to understand the uh, use of angle attack and slow flight. Here's a spot plane view of what we just did. Watch the airplane. Okay, there you go. Consistent uh, angle right up to the point of touchdown. Yeah, I tell you what, if you know the slow flight characteristics of your airplane, you're going to end up uh, making much less rushed, better landings. Let's take a look at the tower view. And uh, watch me come in. Here we come. There we are. There you are. Angle of attack, man. I'll tell you what, it pays to know what angle of attack's all about. See you later.